beautiful Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with a quick check-in reading. I've already cleansed your space and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram. Telegram or Patreon. I'll never ask you for your credit card details and I'll never ask you for personal details either. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam. Let's get straight to your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Scorpio, so this reading is a little bit different. Uh, it's just a check-in reading to see how you are doing. Us tarot readers, we tend to focus on career, money, love, that sort of thing, uh, because those are the major factors that people want to be aware of in their life. But no really asks, how are you? So uh, here's a little bonus reading uh, for you all. Sorry, it's a little bit late there. I was a little bit unwell for a little while, so I took a bit of time out. Uh, thank you so much, spirit guides, great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Scorpio? What do they need to know regarding uh, the time period? Uh, now, I'm doing this reading at the end of February, and it's good right through to the end of March. How are my beautiful Scorpios doing? What's going on there? Uh, we definitely have some hidden gifts that you haven't tapped into yet, or you're not exposing to the world just yet. Um, and we have some movement forward. I'm just going to... Um, Get all of your energy before I move forward on that. And uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful... Ooh, okay. So the first card is the Sun card. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide... This is getting quite tumultuous energy now. It's getting quite difficult. So I feel like there's a bit of an internal battle going on here. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful scorpions? Um... I will get that card. I'm only reading the uprights in this, uh, these decks, just so you're aware. They want me to go again. Oof. Okay, so now what am I feeling? I'm feeling uh, there's this battle. This, there's some sort of um, decision point that you have to make. I mean, your first card there is number 22, and that is the crossroads. So you may be in between choices, or you're having to make a choice in your world that's making you really question something that I feel like you've done for a while or that you've really tried to um, be successful in for a while and um, you may be I feel like you're reaching for some new life in some way um, and it's almost like you're looking at all the effort that you've put in before into something and it hasn't been going the way that you'd ho been hoping for there's a stagnant energy you may feel like um, you've been avoiding something, either avoiding a gift that you have or avoiding exploring an option for a while. Um, they're just giving me this sentence, um, which is, if you do what you always do, you're always going to get what you always get. So I guess you may be trying to find a different or an alternative route to get to where you want to go. But this this basically means you're, you're trying to um, make a choice about which path to take. Now, this could be connected to your life's purpose uh, path right now. You may have felt a little bit off or a little bit confused. Now, Scorpio, you're not the sort of person you tend to be very passionate about something or not. There doesn't tend to be any in-between. If you're a little bit meh about anything in your life, you kind of discard it. So I feel like there's been something here that you've been very passionate about, that you, um, all of your energy, your drive, your determination, your willpower to succeed has been focused in this area. And I feel like it's been delayed or something that you've been working really hard towards getting has been just always out of reach. And it's made you feel like unmotivated because I just get this energy of like what's the point it's trying to gain the energy from somewhere okay and um 
That's all about to change, just so you're aware you're going to get this boost of energy, but it may have made you uh, question yourself or question your path. It's thrown up some options here. Now, some of you may be having some uh, sort of um, decisions to make about movement or moving in some way, because we've got the horse there, number one, and that is, a, you know, uh, it's the rider, which is about journey, um, making quick changes. Um, but I feel like this is something that you're actually ruminating on. But once you've made that decision, it will all happen very, very quickly. Now, I feel like this could be about a person as well. It doesn't always have to be about um, your career path, but I feel within you, you're trying to make some decisions about the people who are in your life, um, the, the, the situations, because deep down you're like, you're trying to do everything or you have been trying to do everything. I feel there's a lot of responsibility on your shoulders for, for a lot of time. And I feel like you, it's almost like you've been trying to fulfill every part of your life and it leaves you unfulfilled deep down. You're feeling exhausted or you're feeling like low energy and you're like, damn, I've got no time for me. When is it time for me? Because every time you come around to having time for you, it's too late or you're going to bed or, you know, I just feel like time keeps running out to give, for you to give time to you is what I'm getting here. And I feel like you have to make some decisions here. Um, and it's not based on ego, these decisions, because we've got the sun card crossing it and the sun can talk about ego sometimes. But I feel like this is you sort of looking at happiness and you know making some real important decisions in your life right now that are going to sort of cut situations out of your life that no longer make you happy or no longer fulfill you the sun card is about you taking a step towards that happiness towards peace towards abundance towards success and i feel like you've been you've been on a challenging path um, for the last couple of years in general, but I feel like you have been going through some challenges um, that have almost, it's almost like sometimes I feel like it's blocked. I'm just going to go and pull a quick card on that. That's what I'm getting here. Something has been blocked and I feel like it's because you had to focus on something else. You had responsibilities to focus on before you could focus on something to do with you. Uh, let me see. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. We got the star card. So there's a lot of healing that's been going on here. I mean, um, the star basically indicates a new version of yourself. You know, inspiration. You're inspired once more. You're getting that joy to vive, that motivation, that drive. And it may, you may have felt really confused or um, had a real test. You may have been going through a bit of a test recently um, because the star card tends to show up when you're coming out of that, when you're sort of embracing growth and new ideas and sort of revealing the new you. I feel like you've gone through a real period of transition of change uh, and you're coming out the other side. I mean, I, I think your last reading was actually called Phoenix Rising from the Ashes or something like that, because I really feel this um, sort of desire sort of rising up within you, something that has been on pause or uh, felt like it was missing for a while. And that's not typically your energy as a Scorpio. You know, I'm a Scorpio too, so I kind of understand. I can't ever read for myself, but um, I can understand that shift that sometimes we feel a little bit numb and that's time to reflect. It's time to work out what we truly desire. But there's something here that you may have thought about giving up on, or you've had a difficult path to get to where you want to go. And there's been a lot of challenges, a lot of tests along the way. I feel like your path is about to get easier, but you have to make some sort of decision. Uh, I mean, we've got the justice card here as well, so it does mean that there is a decision. But the star card indicates, I mean, to clarify the, the sun card with the star card, that's a lot of light. That's a lot of clarity. That's a lot of, you know, all of a sudden knowing what you want to do. All of a sudden knowing where you want to be, who you want to be with, where your happiness lies. Okay. Uh, now they're giving me a song that is, uh, I'm scrying at the same time as doing your reading. Wow, the, the water is really hot. Uh, I wish you could, you know, I wish they could sort of have screens where you could just put your hand in just a touch and you could be able to touch that water. It's super, super heat coming off that water. Um, this, the song that's coming through, um, now I feel like this is a very, very, um, this is a famous song for now. Um, I'm just going to give you the lyrics. Um, I did a meditation before your reading and um, it's interesting because the very end line of what they've just given me uh, came up in the reading. So, uh, sorry, in the meditation. So uh, they are corresponding energies. Um, so you can go the distance 
you can go the mile you can is that uh, you can walk i think it says i think that says you can walk straight through hell with a smile okay um you burn brighter something about flames i i didn't quite catch that bit uh, and the bit that came up in meditations just played now, which is um, you can move mountain, you can break rocks, I think it says. Um, I'm going to have to look up what the song is. It's very famous. I, I know I've heard this before, but I can't place it right now. So I am going to have to look it up. But I mean, this is showing the lyrics from this song is like um, this determination to succeed in this sort of motivation, this drive. All of a sudden, I feel like this is hope returning your passion returning your inspiration you're going to feel really inspired going to get new ideas but i feel like this is you in the exploring stages of something okay we were going to go uh, and clarify a little bit uh, deeper there but i feel like this is something that is a gift this is a gift that you have um that perhaps you haven't explored as much as you could explore or this is something that you have trying you've been trying to be successful with um and it's been in delay uh, but i feel like you're going to stand out from the crowd for this you, you this is something that puts you apart from people uh, the star card tends to be a card you know if you want to be famous for example or if you want to be um you know someone of merit or social standing within your community it doesn't always have to be about fame like being on tv or things like that it can be about you know standing out or being someone who leads with integrity um, and people look towards you. Um, but I feel like you're going to be recognized for your skills. There's a lot of happiness, a lot of positivity coming here. I mean, no matter where you work or whether you work or not, this is about you sort of gaining inspiration, but also clarity on what makes you happy, what brings peace and makes you sort of no longer lose sleep they just said lose sleep over things that really truly do not matter okay uh, it's, it's almost like asking yourself in the long term in five years time will what i'm fretting about or will what i'm worrying about really matter okay so asking the bigger questions philosophical questions here so this is maybe what you're going through right now you're asking bigger questions where do i belong where do i fit in i've been on a path is it the right path? I feel like, I mean, if you have a look at that, it's number 22. When you reduce it, 2 plus 2 is 4, which is the Emperor card. And you've got the Emperor card right here. Okay, and as you can see, one path is clouded. It's got a lot of shadows there. And I feel, you know, that song that came up, uh, I think it said, you walk through hell, uh, hell with a smile. Um, you know, this is, this this path looks a little bit ominous okay there's a lot of shadow there so you, perhaps you've been doing a lot of shadow work a lot of healing and that's why things were not showing up for you when you were hoping for because you had a lot of work to do um with regards to coming back to your center um, but i do feel like there is an option here um i feel like you have taken a difficult route in life it's about to get easier is what they're giving me now we've got number nine here Number nine is the hermit energy. This is a solitary energy, but it's also a, an energy of wisdom. Um, when you get the bouquet um, in the Lenormand deck, that's gift. Okay, that's a gift. You have a gift. But also it can mean that you have a gift for, um, you know, being a boss. You have a gift for business. You have a gift for uh, strategizing, creating a, a plan and making a shrewd decision and being successful at it so do not give up on that just because the path has been difficult just because um there has been some um challenges or changes that you've had to adapt with i mean those changes could be because we're going through a major pandemic things could have been put on pause you know we have to honor the time period that we're living in uh, not only do we have uh, personal goals and dreams to deal with then we also have to deal with the outer world which shapes how we can operate within those circumstances so I feel if you had a goal or a dream or something you've been pursuing for a while and you feel like um, this gift is in some way going to waste or you feel like um, you are um, your energy is sort of scattered for some reason or you felt powerless to make some changes within your world, uh, I feel like you are actually um, going to find, it's almost like you're finding a spark and there's going to be a turn of events, something you've been waiting for all of a sudden changes, it moves forward. Okay, um, but you have a lot of power. 
Scorpio, you have such intense power. When you think about something, you bring about something. You are really connected to the universe. You also have psychic gift. You have like a supercomputer as a brain and intuition like no other. Um, don't ever doubt your skills when it comes to your intuition or uh, you know your gut feeling because you were given that for a reason, um, which is to sort of, you can see the undercurrent before the undercurrent sort of comes into the present moment. So you're very adept at sort of feeling out your environment and knowing when something is off and when it's not. I feel like there's some sort of untapped potential here, a gift that perhaps you've been hiding from the world or you've taken a step back, you've gone a little bit off grid, um, a little bit disconnected from people. Um, you know, Scorpios, I mean, we tend to do that sometimes when we're trying to wrestle with a problem or when things, you know, need to be focused on, whether that's a career opportunity or whether that's uh, in love and we need to withdraw in order to work out how we feel about things. Scorpios, we tend to be a protective energy. Um, we protect our beautiful heart and our energy because we know how much energy and love we put into things. We put everything we got into a situation. So sometimes um, we have to sort of withdraw just to make sure, number one, we're right on track. Number two, um, you know, we still want those things that our heart is still engaged. Now the emperor um, is very powerful and you are very powerful. There's something here that you've planned or you, you started with a plan. Um, now some of you may be stepping into leadership roles or you may be an entrepreneur, for example. Um, you may be someone who's got a lot of stamina. Uh, this is success, this card. And this gift that you have will be very successful. But I feel like you've been going through a test of some sort. Um, now this gift could be, you know, because uh, right now they're showing me a microphone. <laughs> so um, maybe you have a gift for speaking. Um, you, I mean, Scorpios, you are very truthful. You're very authentic. You say what you mean and you mean what you say. And you're not afraid to walk your talk either. So I feel a lot of people look up to you um, as someone that they can trust, but also a force to be reckoned with. Nobody wants to really cross a Scorpio, okay? Um, I feel like there's a lot of depth and there's a lot of respect Okay, I feel like you're, you may have withdrawn recently to, this is, uh, I, I want to put it in a way that it doesn't seem like it's egotistical, but I feel like you may have withdrawn on something recently to gain respect. Okay, because I feel like there may have been someone or a situation that has not been respecting you or your gifts or whatever it is that you bring to the world. Um, I feel like you are moving towards your happiness. Um, We've got the rider here, which is number one. Number one is the magician energy. So when you get the, the rider, this is about, you know, movement. What can I do to move towards the sun? You know, you've got the sun. This is your protagonist energy. This is what's on your mind. What makes me happy? Where do I feel like I belong? Where, where you know, am I happy in my career? Am I happy in love? And if I'm not, what can I do to change those things? Because I feel like you are looking at your options right now. And the rider is basically, okay, I'm going to make these changes. And I feel like there's this gift that you have, this gift for either power or business. People look up to you. Um, I also feel the universe is going to bestow a gift upon you. There's something really good coming on in here because it's something you've been working on by yourself. Okay. Um, and I feel that you've had some time out to reflect, to um, find, it's almost like you could be tweaking a plan if you feel like the plan has not been going the way that you hoped. It doesn't mean you're not going to achieve your goal because I feel like you are, but I feel like there's something here that you're taking action on. You're feeling motivated. You're inspired again because your motivation has been lacking. Now the rider is someone who's going to take action and achieve what they set out to do. Okay. So there is something here that's going to be very quick, a quick change. Something happens very fast. Uh, and I feel like your gift actually puts you in a position of power. Um, now we also have uh, the justice card. So this is something you truly deserve, but uh, the justice card actually is about weighing up your options, making a decision that is based on your authentic self and your future self will actually thank you for the decisions you make in this moment. I feel like you're making very shrewd decisions. Now the justice card is also, uh, it can be about blind faith, okay? So uh, you're not the sort of person to just blind faith it. I feel like you're going to do your due diligence and find all the details, everything you need to know. Uh, it's number eight, um, which normally in the um, 
the major arcanas, it's number 11, the justice card, but it's number eight here. So I feel like you're being really honest with yourself. And it's almost like you're having compassion for yourself as well, saying it's okay. I needed to take a step back to really re-energize. I needed to take a step back to focus on um, either other responsibilities and put your gift on hold, or you had to I feel like you had to focus on something else first and put something that you truly wanted to do on hold for a little while. And now I feel like you're ready to focus on you again, okay? Now, uh, because eight is the number of the self. So that's why I'm talking about the self, okay? So I feel like you're being honest with yourself and I feel like you are deciding to see things from a different perspective and I feel like the wait is over okay because we've got the we've got the hangman here so this is something that you've been paused or you felt suspended you felt like you're in limbo okay especially when you've got a fork in the road and you've got the, the hangman energy it's like you've been in limbo or you felt like you had to just coast it for a while um in order to work out what it is you truly desire because I, you are very much you absorb everything in your environment, okay? Whether that's news articles that you're watching, whether that is an exchange with a person, whether that's walking in nature, you're absorbing everything. It's all energy. So I feel like you've been in a protective bubble trying to protect your energy because you absorb so much. So you may have been the sort of person who disconnected from news for a while or, you know, disconnected, went off grid from friends for a bit. Not because you don't love them, but because I feel like you are protecting your energy so i feel like you're coming out of your cave as it were um after i feel like this is a long period of time a couple of months maybe even a year where you felt a little bit off grid and the hangman is about release sacrificing surrendering to the process now surrendering doesn't mean giving up it means recognizing that divine timing is in order the hangman puts himself on the tree of life in order to gain wisdom so where it's been a time for inaction it doesn't mean that you've not been still doing things i feel like you've been reflecting you've been uh, sort of manifesting new opportunities but also i feel like you're in planning for something something that is to do with your gift or something a gift that you want to explore and we've also got the Scorpio card, the death card there. So I feel like you are that phoenix rising from the ashes. You're making some major changes. And I feel like you're releasing old habits, whether that's, you know, unhealthy eating or unhealthy thinking patterns, uh, where you're shifting negative self-talk and you're actually having compassion with yourself and having a call to faith, whether it's your confidence, because I feel like there was a boost of confidence coming your way after a period of feeling a little bit like not yourself, which is unusual because you're so, you normally know exactly what you want, you know, when, you know, when you want it, that sort of thing. And I feel like something here where you felt a little bit like, they're just showing me a washing machine. Now, either you are currently doing your washing uh, in a washing machine um, and your cycle is finished or something like that. Please take it as it resonates. I'm not really sure because I'm scrying at the same time. So they're just showing me a washing machine or you're just putting stuff into the washing machine. I feel like this is how you've been feeling, you know, when you've been like tumbled around and washing machines, washing is all about water and emotion. So I feel like things have felt a little bit like unsettling recently, like you've been on a constant sort of tumble cycle where, you know, sometimes you don't know which way is up. And I feel like you've been struggling, but I feel, uh, you know, the cycle is ending um, and I feel like you are purging this negative or this blockage um, and it's being released and now you're rising up. Okay, as you can see, uh, a lot of your cards are all about finding the sun. So some of you may be actually trying to move, uh, relocate in some way to find the sun. But I feel like you're looking for what makes you happy. Uh, the side there is tall enough to sort of eradicate those clouds that have formed in front of the sun. I feel like you're cultivating your world in order to make it a more peaceful, happier environment so that you can transform into this successful a confident person that you've always meant to be or that you have been deep down but circumstance has shaped you to question parts of yourself which is uh it is part of the process for the Scorpio way but I feel like you know you may have gone through difficult relationships in your life in the past that have tried to knock your confidence uh you may have gone through difficult work situations that at every turn you know you've tried to rise up and there's been like a block or a block and it's almost like they're trying to force you to explore this gift that you have, okay? Just so you're aware. But I feel like you're becoming more yourself than you have been in a long time is what I'm getting there. And I feel like you're making some really good uh, decisions. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys. God, ooh. 
Now that's quite a slap kind of energy. This is quite a shock energy. Um, so I, maybe you're making some really quick changes here. Uh, we've got the King of Pentacles. Boom. Business, baby. That's what I'm feeling here. This is like you got the Emperor, you got a uh, King of Pentacles. So you're totally bossing up in your world. Now, at grassroots, the King of Pentacles is about making really solid decisions uh, for stability. Um, it is about, you know, where do you feel like you fit in? Where do you feel like you want to settle? Where do you feel like home? Where do you feel like uh, grounded? Um, Prince of Wands. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide? We got the Justice card again. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful? And we've got a Three of Cups. So we've got some really wonderful energy here. Um, the King of Pentacles is like someone who is an entrepreneur or someone who is a boss, maybe a CEO. Maybe you're thinking about working for yourself or being a boss or stepping into some sort of leadership position. Now, this could also mean that you've had a lot of responsibility recently, so you felt a little bit weighed down. You may have felt responsible to make money for yourself and your family, for example, or you may have been committed to your goals and dreams with such tenacity that it's left you with no time for yourself. So you're always feeling like you're exhausted, okay? So there's some large financial gains coming into your world, which is wonderful, but I feel this is more about you making good decisions. This is about you and your loyalty, okay? They just give me the word loyalty. And this card is sort of the epitome, the epitome of loyalty. A King of Pentacles is very grounded, loyal, someone you can trust. And this is what you bring to the table, my beautiful Scorpio. You're all about loyalty, all about happiness. You're all about, you know, uh, making uh, decisions that, uh, where you're honest and open. And I feel like you're looking for avenues whether it's career or people who share your same mindset, uh, people who are also equally um, loyal to you, okay? Because you do, you know, look at that. That's like a Trojan horse, right? Or that's like some sort of horse. I mean, the Trojan horse was uh, like a surprise um, and not a good one. So uh, I do, I'm just saying what it's like. They're not giving it to me in the water, just so you're aware, so you're not freaking out. But as you can see, this person is all tied to a pentacle. So I feel like you may have felt right now that you your focus has been about finances and you've not had any time for you to play or uh, be on an adventure. Um, I also feel like there's a lot of abundance coming towards you because of the amount of effort that you put into everything. Um, if, you're, if you're someone who works within a company with others, I feel like the people who are in power, they're starting to notice you and your work ethic and how they can trust you and they want to raise you up because I feel like, I mean, they're really highlighting the ladder for me in this uh, card. So I feel like you are elevating. Um, yeah, everything you touch is gold when I get this King of uh, Earth. This is philanthropy. This is the ability to attract abundance. And you're very connected to the universe. You're very connected to manifestation. But sometimes your confidence is lacking. And sometimes they're uh, also indicating that sometimes, um, I mean, it's wonderful, Scorpio, that you change your mind. You may have some moments of indecisiveness, or you may have been very indecisive in the last couple of years. But I feel like you're actually you, you're working out what it is you want and where you want to be. And I feel like you're planting roots. You're the sort of person who's going to find opportunity even in the most uncertain circumstances. I feel like you always manage to find which way is up. Okay, um, now the next card, we got four wands. So I do feel like some sort of partnership here. Um, now this could be reunion with friends. This could be you, you know, if you've gone off grid for a while, this could be you connecting to people that, you know, who are very like-minded. So I feel, you know, you are looking for people who have your back just as much as you have theirs. People who are loyal, people who are um, creatively on the same page, for example. If you're a creative, perhaps this is uh, some sort of partnership, whether it's a business partnership, I feel like it's gonna be very lucrative, okay? Now this is not meant to be about money. This is about, um, or love or anything like that, but the Four of Wands is also about homecoming. Where do you feel at home? What makes you feel like, you've built your sanctuary. Now, the Four of Wands is also a celebratory card, so I feel like this is about you celebrating your gifts, your unique self, and knowing that you bring so much to the table. You have a lot to offer life in general, and I feel like the world ha needs whatever it is that you offer, okay? Um, I feel like you are inspired again in the next couple of weeks to 
either pursue a new project or a new creative goal. Um, this gift that you have, I feel like it makes you step out of your comfort zone. It could also lead you, if you're looking for love, it could lead you to a high level commitment, this uh, gift or this hobby, whatever this is, I feel like it, it sparks your attention and it is something to be celebrated. Um, and if you are searching for home, I feel like some of you will find the home of your dreams, for example, and you will want to settle down there. I mean, some of you, if you're in relationships already, your person may pop the question, okay? And you may be, um, I feel like you may be like, it's interesting, you may say something like yes straight away, but you may sort of start to overthink it. Um, I feel like it is something that you want. I mean, you know yourself, but I feel like, Whenever a big shocking piece of news comes along, you always need time to process and step back. It doesn't mean that you don't want to be involved in it, but I always feel like, you know, they're just showing me, it's almost like, you know when someone calls you on the cell phone and you've got the cell phone in your hand, you put it down, you're like, oh, whoa, whoa, what, why is someone calling me? You don't want to pick up the call. You're like, no, 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 I'm not going to do that. I'll wait till they uh, leave a message, find out who that was, and then then you're like, you have to take a little while to listen to the message and then go, okay, I'll call them back in my own time. I'm just getting this energy of, you need time to process something, okay? And um, when it's your time, when you feel the time is right, then you will take action on it. You will call that person back, for example, okay? Um, now, they're also showing me um, a, I feel like this is going to be a signifier. You're going to find some sort of stone um, that is shaped like a heart. They're showing me a stone that is shaped like a heart, okay? So either this is something that you find on your path or this is something you're looking at in this moment as you're listening to this reading. It's a stone that's shaped like a heart. Um, now, I mean, spiritually, this could mean that you you felt like your heart was um, not engaged with your passions uh, for a while because you felt a little bit low vibe or you felt like, you know, you're dealing with bigger circumstances or bigger responsibilities. Um, but I feel like that's a signifier for you over the next couple of weeks, just to look out for it. It could be the tiniest little stone. It just looks like the shape of a heart and it reminds you of a heart straight away. And you're like, ha. Huh. And I feel like there is some sort of good news that comes on in with that. Okay. Because it's connected to the page of wands. Uh, this is the Prince of Wands, which is the equivalent of the Prince of Wands. Uh, sorry, the Prince of Wands equivalent of the page of wands it comes from this beautiful star mentor by David De Angelis. Um, now this is about exploring your options, being bold, coming out. It's almost like you're alive again. I feel like this passion and I feel like you're starting to get enthusiastic about something. You're venturing forward. Now, this could be the beginning of a new project, but I feel like this is about you reconnecting to your passion. You're alive again. I feel like you are starting to connect to that wonderful, intense motivation and drive that uh, but it's also mixed with playfulness, which is very important. I feel like you're really rediscovering yourself or, you know, reviving your spirits with this card. I also feel like there's some sort of news that comes on in that actually helps you on your path. Your desire is sparked, okay? You find your purpose, as it were, or something. It's an idea. And this idea, it really has value. It's connected to your gift, whatever gift you have, okay? Everyone's going to be different. Success looks differently for everyone. Um, but I feel like this is something that you will move forward on. It's like you're a visionary, okay? I also get this energy of you dreaming boldly because it has value. So coming out of a comfort zone, you're venturing forward um, and your passion is sparked again. Now this could be, uh, for example, it may be that you've been focusing on money for a long time and you know you haven't left any time to look for love, for example, and there could be someone who sparks your passion. Now this could be something that leads to a high level commitment in the future, but it's going to start off as something that's lusty, something that's really passionate, something that's going to be quite exciting. Um, something very free, it's very organic. I don't feel like there's any pressure that's put on this relationship at first. Now this person could be a little bit younger than you as well, so you may even think that this is a fling, but I feel like this is something that in the future can go the distance and you could um, have a high level commitment with this person in the future, okay? Uh, now some of you may actually be um, doing certain things in your world where um, there's a lot of contracts as well, because we got the, the justice card twice. This is about now, justice can talk about legality. So, for example, if you've got a lot of paperwork, um, you know, or you're dealing with some sort of law um, or legal issue there, uh, they really want you to do your due diligence and make sure um, that, you know, you 
dot your I's, cross your T's. Make sure you read the small print because having the justice card in your reading twice means you're going to get what you truly deserve. There's going to be a win-win situation here. But whenever you're dealing with legalities, make sure that there's no one who is immature or uh, you know tries to stifle you in some way. I get this energy of some of you moving home. So I feel like the contracts may be to do with a, uh, you know, real estate uh, decision. Um, so I would make sure uh, there may be even a decision point that you have to make because there's, I mean, this is crossing your fork in the road. And as you can see, we've got a head over heart. We've got the brain over the heart decision that needs to be made. Now, this is a life-changing decision because this is a major arcana card with the justice. So I feel like things are going to go in your favor, but make sure you don't rush the process. I feel like you're making really good decisions, but it may require a lot of money, obviously, to buy a home um, and you're saving. But I feel like you're going to get, after all of this work, this planning, everything that you put into this, you're going to get your reward as it were and we got a three of cups here which is another sort of reward it is celebration it is you know you coming into contact with your friends again uh feeling um i don't know revitalized i just get this you know you're powering up with energy um this could also be you enjoying community, for example, sharing your resources or having that team spirit, people coming together for a common goal. Um, so I feel like you're going to meet people who are like minded people, even if you're not working together, you may be meeting new people who become your friends for life, that sort of energy. Um, the three cups is, you know, good times are approaching. Um, and I feel some of you will be actually celebrating something. Um, and I feel like friends, family, you know, your nearest and dearest are coming together to celebrate you. Um, I feel like you've got a lot of support around you. A lot of people have been missing you if you've been off grid as well. Because um, I feel like there's a lot of people sort of... I feel like they've been wondering where you've been for a long time. They miss the old Scorpio. And I feel like you are someone, you've been missing yourself. You're like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I feel like a little bit disconnected from myself. So I feel like you've been going through a real rite of passage kind of energy. And I feel you're coming through that now and you're rising like that phoenix rising from the ashes. I feel like inspiration, a new project or hobby is going to really kick off. Um, I feel some of you may actually book an adventure some sort of travel uh, to go on there. I'm going to get one more card just to make sure. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you show me anything more for my beautiful Scorpios? The Chariot, yeah. So um, the Chariot basically is about travel or, um, you know, movement forward. And, I mean, this card literally means success. I don't know if you caught it, but there was a little knock there behind um, me as this Chariot came out. But the Chariot card is a decision point. So I feel like you are going to... Get back on the horse again if you felt like you've been knocked off the horse or if you felt like there was any sort of rejection or if you felt there was anything that didn't go your way. Because remember, and I always say this, I know, I do apologize if I repeat myself, um, but rejection is protection and redirection, okay? And I feel like you're the master and the mistress of your own destiny and you are taking charge of something. You're finding that motivation again to overcome the challenges. I feel you are uh, moving forward with this card to victory for something that you've worked really hard for. Um, but this was essential to your growth, this pause. You had to take this time out. It was right, it was necessary for your personal growth. The chariot card does mean you have to make a decision, but whatever decision you make, you will be led to victory, okay? Um, and I feel like you are in control. Your passion is, is returning for something and I feel you're going to be very successful. Some really good news coming on in here that elevates you and brings you forward. Financial reward is definitely, you know, King of Pentacles financial reward is definitely in your uh, chart um, and it's what you deserve because you work really hard for it, okay? So expect some celebratory energy very soon. Remember, there's a gift here that you have. Um, don't give up on your dreams because I feel like you're nearly there. You're nearly at that celebration point. You're nearly at that finish line. Um, and I feel um, in the next couple of weeks, you're going to get some really good news that shows you that you're on that right path, whether it's a promotion, raise, or the project that you've been hoping to achieve or a job. If you're looking for a job, I feel like it brings financial reward, but most importantly, it leads you to the happiness that you seek and somewhere where you fit in with the right-minded people. 
because the four of wands and the three of cups there is like people who are on the same page but also people who are you know uh, they celebrate differences uh you know you honor each other's differences and you are creatively brainstorming with each other or you're vibing with each other on the same frequency and it just seems to be a much more enjoyable time so whether you're meeting new people to uh, be friends with or whether you are um you know reconnecting with your friendship circle i feel like there's a lot of positive energy where you're going to feel like you're getting back to the good old days of Scorpio. That's what I feel here uh, in this reading, okay? Now, I'm just going to get you some final cards to close the reading before we move on. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide? Illumination, firework, unseen. Beautiful energy. You can see illumination, firework, unseen. Now, fireworks, uh, you know, cause for celebration. But this is something that you, you don't even realize is coming. It's, it's working behind the scenes. And I feel like you will see it in the next four to five weeks. It will be shown. It's almost like this, this news, I feel like it's in about, I would say if I was going to, because they're not giving me a number. If, uh, okay. So number 27 is coming in the water now, 27. So 27 may be important for you. Um, maybe 27th of March or 27th of February is important for you. So look out for those two dates, 27th. Um, they're not giving me a month. So um, I feel like that's when the news comes in, okay? Just so you're aware. Uh, and I'll get you a final uh, mantra card, something you, you are meant to remember, wow, um, as we um, move through this time period. Sorry, that not that card like nearly just smacked me right in the eye. <laughs> um, yeah, so these two cards are your mental cards. I am confident. That's your major arcana to uh, for your protagonist energy. Confidence is key to your success, but also to your well-being. There is nobody else like you, Scorpio, and that is your superpower. Remember that, okay? Um, so I am confident, and it's, I am perceptive. Most important, I am perceptive. So your intuition is bang on point. Never, ever reject it or question it, okay? We've got a star here as well. So I feel like, you know, that star, I mean, it looks like a little tear coming down. So I feel like you have gone through some hardships, but I feel like you, you're you healing, you're coming through that, and the stars are aligning for your success. Whenever you see things like um, a spider's web, it means good luck. It is, it is that shape for catching luck, okay? Whenever you think of, um, you know, a dream... Um, a dream catcher as well it's in the shape of a spider's web type thing because it's about catching your luck you are perceptive you're going to get the right opportunities they're going to come as a surprise uh, but i feel like you are you've walked a tough path now is the time to walk to the light that's what i feel for you scorpio okay so i'll leave it there i hope something resonates for you i'm just going to get you a heart now i've been using hearts just for the month of february um of course, I've just gone for the most difficult one where everything's probably going to fall down. Let's see. I'm just going to pop that there. Uh, this is the one that drew me for you. You know what? I feel like you even got this for the last reading. So, um, And I've shaken these up and I've used other ones. So you're just getting the same one, I feel. Maybe I got it wrong. But it says, anti up. This game is about to get hot. Anti up. This game is about to get hot. Okay? And I mean, your first card is the sun. So... It's definitely about to get hot for you, okay? So um, I'll leave it there. If you'd like to be with a chance to win a free personal reading, all you have to do is put this comment in the comments box below. I am loved. And I'll gravitate towards one lucky subscriber on the 28th of February. And I'll announce the winner's name in a video upload only. I will not know who wins the... Uh, the reading until the actual day my guides will not give me the name until the day okay also if something resonates in this reading please like or subscribe to my channel completely free for you all you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when i update my next message it lets me know that you resonate with the reading which is very important for me um and i'll leave it there thank you so much my beautiful scorpions love and light